What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hot Action Fishing and Fab. My name is Curtis and this is my channel. Well, I drove up to Michigan to hang out with my family and uh, before I drove up here I whipped up a couple flies which you guys are going to see me tie in this video. Um, and now I'm going to my, uh, my old stopping grounds because I grew up in Michigan and uh, I fished a lot of rivers right by my house in Michigan. I did that ever since I was, you know, 10, 11 years old. I'd ride my bicycle all over Helen back and get to uh, my fishing spot. So I'm walking there this time. Uh, I'm obviously have a bicycle up here. But uh, yeah, I'm walking down to one of my old fishing spots with my new flies that I tied. Um, so I got my little fly rod that my dad bought me when I was really little. It's a five weight. Um, haven't used it. Pretty much haven't used it since I moved down to Florida. Um, we had a little $100 Remington crosswater fly rod I got at a, a, a little fishing expo that we went to. And uh, yeah, like I said, tied up some flies. And we're going to put them to use. And hopefully I'll have some smallmouth footage that I'll be able to show you guys. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I've been really pumped about getting back up here and doing a little bit of fishing. And I uh, have a little bit of time to myself. And I'm coming down here to fish for a couple hours. And hopefully I can catch some fish. Excuse the road. Um, it's where my little spot is. It's underneath the, the highway. But uh, we're going to put in some work and catch some fish. So here we go. Hope you all enjoy. There's the old fishing spot. I'm working my way down there. I guess not too many people fished it since uh, since I moved away. Kind of hard. All the trails are worn back down, or you know, built back up. I haven't been I haven't been back here in five and a half, almost six years. So hopefully the fishing's still good. And all right, this is my first time using my head cam, so hopefully you guys can kind of see. Uh, my new my old spot here and uh, picking up the fly rod I don't know if I ever fish the fly rod underneath here but we're trying it and uh, I probably should have showed you guys my little clouser or a uh, woolly booger that's what this pattern is called it's called a woolly booger I don't know if you guys can see it but I don't know what all the names of the different furs and patterns and stuff that I use but that's the fly that I'm throwing and hopefully we can catch ourselves a little smallmouth the spot's definitely a whole bunch growed up since I was last year when I was a little kid a few years ago. And uh, hopefully there's still some fish here. I caught one of my biggest sm river smallmouths ever in this hole right here. That wind coming underneath there is killing me. I don't know if you guys can even hear what I'm saying. It's so gosh darn windy. I lost my little, my little foam thing for my microphone, my little wind guard wind protector thing so hopefully y'all can hear me 
I gotta shoot this thing much harder. Let it float, let it float. I don't know if you guys can see my... Oh, I got one. Woo. Looks like a little, little, little baby smallmouth, yep. <laughs> Heck yeah, oh no. Oh man, he didn't make it back in the water. He didn't make it in the water. I gotta go on a rescue mission. Here he is. Here's my little small mouse. There's a little bitty guy, but there's one right there. My old spot. Still old fish. Here he goes. I gotta jump back up here. Getting too old for this. Here we go. There's my first small mouse. Hopefully. We'll get a bigger one. There's much bigger ones down there, I know. But that was awesome. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. Got one. There's another little smallie. Oh no, it's a rock bass. Got me a little rock bass. Little bitty guy. Woo. Little rock bass. All right. A little bit heavier than I'd like, but I'm throwing my spinning rod now. But a little heavier than I'd like. Um, quarter ounce jig head with a Yamamoto. These are usually pretty much smallmouth killers. Um, good way to imitate a small bait fish or a, a crawdad on the bottom. Um, I guess one of my very light setup, saltwater setups. Um, little medium light spinning rod, six foot or six six. Um, I got 10 pound braid. I got it to a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. You don't really need it too much for what we're doing here, but this is still all tied up from me fishing down in Florida. And uh, this is what we're gonna use. I'm gonna flip this thing out here and uh, catch some fish with it. All right, I'm gonna start popping this thing on the bottom, letting her get in this eddy, let it sink to the bottom, pop it up a little bit. Give it a couple hops, let it sit. Give it a couple hops, let it sit. Come here, fish. Got one. Oh yeah. Oh, you just come on button. Gosh darn it. set the hook a little better. I don't think I had a hook in him, so he might eat it again. Now I'm fishing it too fast, slow down. There he is, got him that time. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there. Heck yeah. Not a monster, but it's definitely better than the last couple. All right, we're gonna boat flip him. Get up here, buddy. Heck yeah. Nice little river smallie. Nice little river smallie. They make him much bigger than that, but I'm pretty happy with that. He fought good. So he's going back now. Oh yeah, nice gentle release. I give it a 10. Let's see if we can't get another one. All right, let's put these Crocs here in four wheel drive so I don't freaking eat it on these rocks, which I probably am, so it'll be funny and make for good freaking content. But uh, yep, yeah, first time I put these Crocs in four wheel drive since I gotten them. And uh, here we go. These rocks look slippery as shit, so. Current's ripping pretty good, but I want to get out there to that spot over there. Oop, almost fell. Got my phone, got my gun, got my knife, got my wallet. That's the one I probably should have left. My wallet. <laughs> got a waterproof case on my phone, but uh, who knows how good that works when you're swimming, but. Ooh, I don't know what the heck that is. Probably stepping on a dead body. Might be in the safe zone here. It's about to be in the clear, people. Ooh, look at that. 
Hopefully going back's just as easy. Oh my goodness, look at this little bitty guy. Just a teeny weeny little smally. He ate it though, he wanted it. Little bitty guy. No bigger than my hand. <laughs> oh, sorry little buddy. Oh no, you're gonna freaking die. That's not good for you. Where you at, guy? figure his way out from there. <sighs> Sorry, buddy. I dropped him and he wormed his way right down in the rocks. Feels like there's a maze down there. Hopefully he can find his way out. Dang turtle right there. I got something. Oh my goodness. I was joking around and that turtle did eat my fly. Holy crap. <laughs> I think this daggum turtle ate my fly. <laughs> Oh man, I'm high sticking him like crazy. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Did I snag you or did you eat my bug? I was just using you as practice, target practice, and I. Yep, I hooked you in the paw. Ooh, don't get out there in the current. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna lose this bug for sure. Or break my fire rod, one of the two. Give my dang fly back, that's all I want. You probably didn't even realize you're hooked, or you know, probably doesn't even hurt. Come here, give my fly back. Give me your fly back. <laughs> there he goes. See you, buddy. Sorry about that. <laughs> Bent my fly out, pulled it out of him. Here's my fly after you turtled freaking hook a turtle with the dang thing. I didn't bring my pliers. The fly's pretty freaking messed up. I'm gonna walk back to my to my backpack. I should have brought more flies. But that was pretty funny. Kind of feel bad for the turtle. Sorry, little buddy. I was just using him as practice, target practice, just practicing my casting. And uh did a couple roll cast at him, just using him as a moving target, and next thing you know, I, I hooked him. Sorry, buddy. Go tell your friends that I'm an asshole. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick little video. Um, caught a couple little smallies, nothing crazy. Caught that one little baby rock bass. Uh, oh yeah, caught that freaking darn turtle. I didn't. I swear, I swear to goodness, I wasn't trying to catch him. Obviously, I cast it at him multiple times, but uh, I didn't ever anticipate actually hooking him. Well, I hooked him, and uh, I guess I'm a better caster than I thought. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I was using him to start to practice, and uh, swam in front of my fly. I'm just gonna see that. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Got a little, see a little piece of my old uh, stomping grounds and uh, where I used to live at and where I grew my roots for the love for fishing. 
because that's where I fished and then I went all downhill from there. Um, obviously I fished all over the place up here, but yeah, that was one little spot that was close to my house and uh, really enjoyed fishing there. Loud, but still kind of peaceful. But uh, thank you guys again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little different than my fire, my fiberglass in and building stuff videos, but uh, yeah, y'all have a wonderful week. Thank you.